Forza is back at it again with its latest release, Forza Horizon 4. For those unfamiliar with the Horizon series, this is basically Forza Motorsport's cheeky cousin. Rather than focusing on the hyper-realistic races, Horizon is more arcade, focusing on the fun of racing and the gorgeous open world. This world is not only massive, but there's plenty to do, from danger signs to bonus board smashing to speed traps to drift zones. There are showcase events, dirt road street or cross country races. There are live events, seasonal events. Wait, did we even mention the seasons? Because oh baby, this game has four of them. After you pass level 20, they change weekly but you'll have to prove your worth in this world in order to live your best horizon life. So here are five tips to put you on that path. Tip number one, control yourself. Despite what you may think, this isn't a pedal to the metal game. To be a good driver, you cannot focus on speed alone. Sure, you might blow past the competition, but the second you need to make a turn, you're going to fly off track. To be a good driver in Forza, you must have control. This means feathering your throttle, braking before corners, and mastering the drift. Sure, from time to time, you may fly off the road. And if you're too proud to use that rewind button, then know what to do to save yourself. Let go of the gas, course correct, and feather that throttle. Tip number two, up that difficulty. Horizon 4 starts you off at a basic difficulty level, but this is to help ease you into the Forza feel of the game. As useful as this is, you're missing out on earning valuable credits. So as soon as you feel comfortable with the mechanics, head into the difficulty setting of the menu and adjust it to fit your style. We recommend leaving the drive avatar difficulty as is, then bumping the driver assist difficulty to hard. This will automatically boost your CR by an extra 15% over the medium setting. This does two things. It takes off traction control, which can easily be adjusted and gets rid of the full driving line. To be honest, the full driving line isn't needed. Having it set to braking only can truly help you take a corner with an optimal speed. The line will only appear when you are at risk of losing control. If it's yellow, a drift can handle the turn pretty well. But if it's red, you have to slow down or you're going to miss it. Tip number three, living it up. A nice part of Forza Horizon 4 is the ability to buy houses. These houses all can act as fast travel locations. But there is one house that we truly recommend buying. That is, once you have the dough. The Fairlawn Manor is a hefty two million credits, but it is very much worth it. The house comes with some swag, 10 super wheel spins, that's right, 10. And the best perk of them all, fast travel to any road on the map. No more finding the closest location to the Forzathon. With this house, you can fast travel straight to it. And yes, Fast travel can cost you quite a few credits, but if you decide to hunt down those fast travel signs, you can easily drop the price. And if you get them all, it's free. Tip number four, festival loopholes. Fast travel becomes pretty useful, especially if a Forzathon event is clear across the map. Although you have to buy houses to unlock fast travel locations, you're always allowed to fast travel to the Horizon Festival. However, this will cost you quite a bit, Luckily, there's a bit of a loophole for those just starting out who haven't had time to grab all the fast travel signs. Press start and navigate over to the Creative Hub tab. Then make your way to the design box. If you choose a design, the game will prompt to teleport you to the Horizon Festival to apply the design. Select yes, click out of the menus, and boom, you're at the Horizon Festival, free of charge. Tip number five. I did it my way. <laughs> Forza Horizon 4 is a massive game that we could give you so many tips for, but overall, you should just do you. The game was built to allow a multitude of people to not only race to level up, but to participate in an assortment of activities and be rewarded just the same. Whether you like photography, designing cars, tuning cars, exploring the map, doing insane stunts, or just collecting cars, you will be rewarded for everything. Play Forza Horizon 4 your way, your style, and do what makes you happy. On that note as well, trying other activities is also rewarding. Even if you don't get first or all three stars, you're still rewarded for trying. Explore the options. Also, taking a look at your Horizon life can show you what you'll unlock the next level, which might incentivize you to try something new. Forza Horizon 4 is truly a game worth experiencing. The world feels alive and the constantly changing seasons can make the map and races feel new with each week. 
The diversity of cars seems unending, and the detail put into each one is absolutely mind-boggling. Point is, for those who don't consider themselves car people, and those that do for that matter, you'll have a fun time with Forza Horizon 4 either way.